We're painting cute little animals starting with the same basic shape. So far we've done a pufferfish, a hippo, a little chick, a seal, and a cow. But what will today's be? Can you guess? I'm gonna start by making two circles that are about two circles apart from each other in a nice light purple color. Wash your brush and then fill it with the brown color of your choice. And we're gonna try to outline these circles on the inside without touching them. But what if you do touch them? Because I did. Well, first, if you didn't wanna run the risk, you could dry the eyes before moving on to the outlining part, then they won't bleed together like that. But if you accidentally touch them, what you can do is dry your brush off, then soak up that extra color that flowed into there, and then you can redeposit the initial color. Once we have our circles outlined, then we're going to make a nice smiley face at the top, fill that area in, and then on one side, we're gonna bring that down and round it a bit. On the other side, we're gonna bring it down and then straight over to the left. Fill everything in. While it was still nice and wet, I went ahead and took a darker brown or gray color and dropped it along the edges. Then we need to dry everything before moving on to the next step. Once it's dry, I'm gonna fill my brush with a darker purple color and make two smaller circles within the initial circles. Wash my brush and fill it with a darker brown color. And then I'm gonna make kind of a really lazy upside down heart shape here. Fill that shape in. And then again, we're gonna dry this. Once dry at the top or the bottom of our little heart, I'm gonna make a little black spot and then I'm gonna fill in the entire background with a fun color. I chose to do a nice pink color. You could do whatever you want. We're gonna give that one final dry and then grab our trusty white gel pen and we're gonna outline everything and add those little highlights to the eyes. That always gets me every single time. Also, if at this point you're like, hey, we did a seal the other day. I don't wanna just do a brown seal. It's not, this is gonna be a walrus. So the main two things we're gonna add to make that happen are we're gonna add the trunks and then lots of whiskers. We added some whiskers to the seal, but this one we wanna go really overboard. This one might be my favorite of the series so far. He's just tooth cute. 